Hi everybody, I'm Stefan Holt and this is News for Now for Wednesday, May 1st. We're going to start things off with a check of the weather. Didn't uh, really feel like spring on this first day of May, but it certainly will tomorrow. Expect high temperatures in the mid 70s. We also have some scattered storms that will roll in by the late afternoon. Now to the news and a teen and his mother now facing charges in the stabbing death of a 17 year old Brooklyn boy. Hi Dave, do you have anything to say? You need to hurt him, David? What happened, Mr. Lopez? David Lopez didn't say much as he walked out of a police precinct this afternoon. The NYPD says he stabbed and killed Rohan Burke outside of a pizzeria in Midwood on Monday. Police say his mother, 38 year old Barbara Galoza, saw her son kill Burke, then hid the knife allegedly using the crime. It's unclear whether more arrests could be made in this case. An off duty NYPD officer was killed in a horrific crash while on his way to work this morning. Purple bunting was hung outside of the 101st precinct in Rockaway, Queens this morning to mourn the death of Officer Vincent Persaud. He died after his car hit a tree on Long Island this morning. Investigators still trying to figure out what caused the car to crash, but sources tell News 4 they don't suspect foul play. Officer Persaud leaves behind a wife who is two months pregnant. In New Jersey, a man is facing charges after a Snapchat video that sparked fears of a school shooting. Daniel Maddox is facing a long list of charges after posting this 10 second clip. He turned himself in as detectives canvas his Piscataway neighborhood, trying to track down the origin of that video. He allegedly told police he wasn't trying to threaten anybody, but police had to step up security at schools in the town after that video started making the rounds. Students say they were definitely alarmed. Does it make you scared to come back to school? A little bit, yeah. As soon as she told me, I'm like, oh gosh, I'm scared. Mm -hmm. Workers in New York City joined hundreds of thousands of others around the world today for May Day marches and protests. One group marched from Columbus Circle to Trump Tower in Midtown, while another rallied in the financial district. The demonstrations were peaceful and the causes on the signs as diverse as the protesters themselves. So we have um, no belief or any confidence in any capitalist party, whether it be the Republicans, Democrats, Greens or any independent party. Um, at the face of it all, they're all capitalist parties. They're not workers parties. Finally, there's a big change for people who are going to visit the Statue of Liberty. In two weeks, commercial tours will not be allowed under the outdoor observation deck of the statue or the Ellis Island Museum. The National Park Service says it's just getting too crowded on the islands. The number of group tours to the statue in Ellis Island is up 600% over the last decade. That'll be all for news for now. Thanks for joining us and keep watching. We'll finally tell you how to get to Sesame Street here in the city. I'm Stefan Holt. Thanks for checking in.